Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your sixth HTML tutorial. In our last tutorial, we learned how to add an image to a web page, and this is the actual image that we added here. Uh, it's a picture of a tree that I took. And this is what the code for that looks like. We used our image tag, img, and then we used the src attribute in order to specify the location of the image. Since the image is on our, uh, is in the same uh, folder, we used the, we just needed to type in the name of the image rather than, you know, something like http colon slash slash and then the location. Um, we also uh, changed the height of in height and width of the image to make it a lot smaller than it actually was. Um, in this case it's 150 by 150 pixels. And then we went ahead and added the one pixel border around the whole image. Yeah, and as you can see the borders are right around here. And this is what the original size of the image was. It was really large, um, which is why we uh, used the tags right here, height and width, to resize it. In this tutorial, we're going to actually add a link to our web page. We're going to add a link to google.com uh, right under here. And in order to do that, you need uh, two tags, an opening tag and a closing tag, um, just like most other uh, tags in HTML. And anything that goes between those two tags is going to be the text that is linked. So let's add our link here. The, the tag for that is a h r e f equals, and then instead of quotation marks, and then the close tag is just slash a. Uh, a equals uh, a stands for anchor, rather, and href is hypertext reference, um, and that basically just means the location of uh, the web page that you're trying to link to, similar to uh, the src here in the image tag. So um, in this case, we're going to link to google.com. So we need to include an HTTP and then google.com. And this, again, needs to be between the quotation marks here, just like in any other uh, attribute in which you're specifying something. Um, if you were linking to a web page that's a part of your website um, and it's in the same folder, you wouldn't have to include uh, HTTP or anything like that. You just need to include the name. But since google.com is external, we do need to include the quotation marks. So if we go ahead and save this and then load our web page here, you'll notice that nothing actually happens. And the reason for this is because we didn't specify the text that we would like to be linked. We only specified the location of the link. So the text that you want to be linked, you can you can enter that right between the, the, the beginning tag here and the end, and the end tag. Um, so let's type in google.com. Um, any text that you enter outside of either of these tags will not be linked. So let's save it. Come on over here and refresh. And you'll notice that google.com appears on our page. When we click on that, it'll take you right to the Google website. Um, however, if you notice, we clicked on this and it opened it in the same web page, uh, the same page here. Um, let's say we want to open it in a new tab or a new window, depending on your browser settings. Um, there's actually an attribute within the H, uh, within the link tag that you can use. So that attribute is called target, and all you need to do is just put it right after the quotation marks uh, for the href, and then equals, and then another set of quotation marks similar to everything you have up here. And if you wanted to open in a new page. There's a, the code for that is underscore blank. So like this. So this is what this is saying is um, you want to go to google.com and then you want to open it in a new page. And then this is the text that's linked. So let's save this. Go over to our web page here. Refresh. And if we click on Google, you'll notice it opens in a new tab next to our web page. Uh, and this can be useful if you don't want a user to actually have to leave your website in order to view something else. Um, okay, so let's come over back to here, um, and let's center our link since it doesn't really look uniform with our web page here. So in order to center a link, just like an image, all you need to do is add a center tag to the outside of both of your link tags, and then we'll just save that, and come over here and refresh, and you'll notice that google.com has been centered. Um, but let's add a space to this, um, just because it's kind of close to the image here. So in order to add a space, all you need to do is use the line break tag, which is just br and then a forward slash like that. There is no real closing tag per se. Um, just br space forward slash and uh, that'll add a space between the uh, image and the link here. Come over here and refresh and there you have it. We've added a link to google.com 
it opens in a separate web page. And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for these tutorials, please feel free to post them in the comments below. Also, please feel free to subscribe if you like these. Um, and for more te tech news, tips, tricks, how-tos, uh, you can go to technicalcafe.com. Um, and just if you're wondering what I'm up to, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Thank you for watching.